She was born in Via Reggio, Tuscany, Italy, on June 5, 1946. She won a beauty contest when she was just 15 years old, which led to her first role in Il Federale, together with the great Italian actor Hugo Tognazzi. She was then cast by Germi for the Italian comedy, Divorzio all'Italiana, working with Marcello Mastroianni, but she became well known a few years later performing in the movie, Sedota e Abandonata. At 16 she had a relationship with the Italian musician Gino Paoli and in 1964 she gave birth to her first daughter Amanda. In the 70s she worked with directors Bernardo Bertolucci, Edda Ray Scola, Comencini and acted with Vittorio Gassman, Dustin Hoffman, Alfredo, Alfredo, Robert De Niro and Gerard Depardieu, Novecento. In the 80s she performed her sexiest role in La Chiave by Tinto Brass which made her an erotic icon for a whole generation of men, and participated in important Italian movies, for example Speriamo che sia femmina, with Catherine Deneuve and Liv Ullman. In the 90s she especially worked for TV series and became very popular as Gigi Proietti's fiancé in Il Marciallo Rocca. She worked a little less for the cinema industry, nevertheless she participated in Bertolucci's Io Ballo da Sola, and in Muccino's L'Ultimo Baccio, where she portrayed a woman in the deep of a midlife crisis. On September 10, 2005 she received the Golden Lion at the 62th Venice Film Festival for her life achievements. Stefania Sandrelli represents one of the few actresses who are able to age gracefully and still get interesting roles. She is still regarded as one of the most beautiful women in Italy and she is still able to charm the audience with her sweet smile and sparkling eyes.